hey guys uh this is my very first video it's on this look right here i didn't know whenever i sat down what i was gonna do if i was gonna do like a normal like easy glam oh like easy like soft glam valentine's day look or if i was gonna do this which is what i ended up going with which was just a really glam like pinky look valentine's day i keep saying valentine's day but it's just pink and that's why i'm saying valentine's day um but yes this is the look that we are doing and i just wanted to say bear with me i don't know how this video has turned out i have tried my hardest i feel like it's all over the place my battery died like two times while filming because i've been filming for so long <laughs> um and i had to go and pick up alana so like we took like an hour break of me filming so i don't know i really hope i can get this put together future sierra and future jimmy i'm very sorry for how jumbled up this is um i would really appreciate it if you subscribed and liked this video and gave me suggestions for other videos to film because as of right now i don't really know what i'm filming next it's pr it's probably just gonna be like an everyday makeup tutorial next time but yes if you want to see how i got here don't be alarmed by how you're gonna see me i'm gonna be in no makeup in like two seconds so don't all right now that we're all up in my business um i am going to go in take love letter right here from the modern renaissance palette on that and we're gonna go straight in with this darker color ignore my fingers i was swatching to try and figure out what i was gonna do and I can't get them off. Um, we're going to go straight in with the dark color. I'm going to tilt my head back and look down. And we're going to pack that color right into the crease. And it's going to look really crazy. But I promise you, hopefully, hopefully I can pull this out. Um, I promise you by the end it's going to look good. And it's okay if you get it on the lid because I think we're going to cut the crease later. We also want to bring that in a little bit here. Alright, now that we look crazy, we're going to go into Skip, this really bright pink from the James Charles X Morphe palette. And we're going to go in with this Morphe 139 blending brush. It's just kind of tapered and a little fluffy. It's really good for blending out dark colors we're gonna go in with skip get that on the tip of our brush like this tap off the excess and you're gonna want to use a very light hand and you're gonna just start blending through here to blend out the color love letter that we just put down and packed on But I figured while I was blending, we could talk about me. I don't, that was weird. <laughs> that was a weird thing to say. <laughs> but just so, like, my first video has a little bit about me in it. I'm 21. Have a four-year-old daughter. She will be five in July. And I am engaged to... This is going to sound super corny. But I am engaged to my high school sweetheart. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yes. Um, we started dating whenever we were 15. And I got pregnant with Alana whenever I was 16. And then four days after my 17th birthday is whenever I had her. My birthday is July 24th. Hers is the 28th. Um, great late birthday present. Okay, so we'll get back to me in a second, but I'm really liking the way that this blend looks and I'm really thinking that this is going to look really nice as a cut crease. So I think that's what we're going to do today, but I'm going to go back in with my tart brush and whatever product is left on here from the love letter and go right in here because it's not looking like it's blending that well through here. We're going to go back in here and blend just a little bit more with that product. Then we're going to just keep switching back brushes and then go in and blend out here. And then I'm going to go in with, with this little Morphe brush. He's a little cute thing. 
Um, he's really good for detailed blending. It's the Morphe 562. Really nice small brush, good for blending. And then we're gonna go in with, I think this is Pinkity Drinkity right here. We're gonna get a little bit of that on the, on the tip of your brush, tap off excess. And we're gonna go in and go right very lightly above skip and start blending that out. Also, I know it's this huge like deal on like Twitter about blending up to your brow, but I really like the way it looks. I don't go up in my arch because I like to leave that bare, but I will go up to the front of my brow all day because it looks really sultry, like once you get done. Anyways, um, more about me, I guess. I started getting into makeup whenever, I, I think my freshman year of high school. I can't really remember. It may have been eighth grade. I know I've been watching YouTube videos, like makeup YouTube videos since I was like um, 12. Like I really, really liked watching them. I just hadn't started getting into makeup until about my freshman year, but that's mainly because I was an awkward middle schooler and I'm so glad I didn't put makeup on my face in middle school because I probably would have looked 10 times more ridiculous than I already did. But yeah, I just, I started watching YouTube. I've learned all, pretty much all of my tricks from YouTube and I've wanted to make a YouTube for as long as I can remember. I've just always been way too scared to, like way too scared of what people in my small little town would say and I don't know, but I, I kind of, I guess I'm old enough to realize that it doesn't really matter what they say as long as I'm happy making the videos. And I really think that this is gonna make me happy. So who cares what anyone says? I mean, I kinda do, I'm not gonna act like I'm like this person who's like, I don't care what anyone's opinions of me are because I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> Maybe someday, but I'm not there yet. But I really am gonna try and focus on what makes me happy and I really think that this is going to make me happy because I've been posting a lot more makeup looks on my Instagram and that re has really really made me happy like to be able to share the looks that I do because I really really like doing looks like I just sitting down and creating looks and like it just makes me forget about all of the stress of life if you know what I mean I'm really not liking the way that that, perp that that like dark pinky purple meets the pink. So I'm really gonna focus right here and really try and blend that. Other than that, I'm really liking this look. I'm really liking the shape. I really hope the, the colors are picking up good on the camera because I'm really liking these colors. I never work with pinks and I think this looks so cool. I also have super hooded eyes, like really bad. Like whenever I look straight forward, my crease is gone. And whenever, and whenever I look back, I, you can still see the creases from where my eye creases. So it's really hard for me to do things like um, cut creases, but I took a one-on-one -on -one lesson with Stephanie. I don't know how to say her last name. I will butcher it. So I'm just gonna pull up her Instagram real fast. She's really great. Um, I took a one-on-one -on -one lesson with her and it really, like, she showed me, like, in depth how she does her cut crease and I, like, the reason I wanted to take it is because I love her cut creases. Um, oh, okay, well, she got married, so her last name changed. It's Stephanie Treadway. This is her Instagram. But I took a one-on-one -on -one lesson with her and it was just really fun um, and she really taught me, like, some nice tricks on how to do a cut crease and how to do winged eyeliner even though I don't. I don't do winged eyeliner that much, I really don't. I just, it's not that flattering on my eye shape. And where my eyes are so hooded, whenever I do do a wing, it almost goes into my crease. It's, it's weird, I don't do them that much. I do them on occasion. I used to do them all the time and I don't, I don't know how I did that. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go in with a more pointy brush. This still has some purple on it from where I was like practicing. This one doesn't have a name. I'm pretty sure this one came from Walgreens forever ago. I've had this one probably since freshman year, like whenever I started doing makeup. It's really nice to pack on color in the outer corner. And I'm gonna go in with es Escape, which is the dark purple in the James Charles 
palette. And I'm gonna get a little bit of that on the tip, top off the excess, and as you can see, I still have all of my brushes here just so I, I don't have to search for them. <laughs> By the end of my looks, I usually have like five brushes in my hands. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pack this into my outer V. And it's a really, really pretty purple. Um, I'm trying to think of more things that I can tell you, but I'm not that interesting. Um, I currently wait tables. I'm a waitress. I have great stories to tell about that. Um, okay, we're still blending out this outer corner. We're deepening it up and blending it out and deepening it back up and blending it back out. It's a process. Everyone always asks me how... I do my makeup and then the second question is how long it takes me and honey this is a process okay I can but the thing is I enjoy doing it so that's why I'm okay with spending so much time doing it um I could literally sit here and do my makeup for hours hours and I'm not even exaggerating I could do my makeup for hours it's just a process that I really enjoy I usually like if I have to be somewhere and I want to do a full face of makeup, I usually make sure that I have at least an hour and 30 minutes to do it. But a lot of people are going to think that's ridiculous, aren't they? <laughs> it, it's the truth. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I think that's zoomed out enough. Yeah, that's fine. Will it focus though? Is it going to focus? Hello? Hello? Do I need to move forward? it here okay um okay i think i'm focused now um they look at me like i'm ridiculous half of the time and they're literally like how how does it take you that long but i i'm i sit down and i turn on my phone to have like background noise and i turn on like youtube videos and i just sit there and i like enjoy my time doing my makeup that's like my time you know i'm a mom i don't get a lot of time that's my time and it's not like it's really my time. Like, Alana's still there, <laughs> you know, pointing at all the colors that she likes. She really likes the James Charles palette. Really likes it because of the pinks. Oh, my God. She's going to love my makeup. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm blended as much as I want to be. I think we're at a good stage right now to start cutting the crease. Because um, my battery is about to die. I'm, I think I'm going to go in and cut the crease. And then... Turn the camera off, charge my battery while I do the other eye, come back for eyeliner and lashes. I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's that's the game plan. So we're going to... So we're going to take our concealer on our Anastasia palette and we're going to put just a little bit on there. I don't like putting a lot because I feel like it's wasting product. But this is an Ulta crease brush. It, um, it came in one of my Christmas presents. It was like a big Ulta, like kabuki box could caboodle kabuki caboodle i think it's it, i think it's called a caboodle one of those big ones anyways it doesn't matter what it's called all, all you need to know is what the brush is and then i take the flat end sometimes i go in with a smaller brush like this one this one's really small i might go in with that later or i might i might go in with a brush like this we'll just see but i take it and i get a little bit of the product on there like that okay so what you want to do is look down into your mirror and where my crease falls, as you can see, it's right there. And I have to go above that to make it to where you can actually see the crease or it just disappears in my crease. Take a shot every time I say crease. Just kidding. Where am I? Okay. I'm not gonna talk too much through this because I have to really focus. I wonder if you guys can hear all the cars that go down my road. Oh man, <laughs> I'm out of frame. Okay, so I'm liking that shape. I'm gonna get a little bit more product on my brush. Cut this top. 
top part out. Okay, so I'm liking how this looks. I had to zoom out. Um, I think we're gonna stop there and we're going to set that so that it doesn't crease while I'm doing the other eye. So I think we're just gonna go with the safe route and set it with like a white or a cream right now. And if we wanna add color to it later, we can. I'm gonna go in with Fresh from the Sultry palette. And... this no-name brush <laughs> and we're gonna pack and we're gonna pack that on there and um and then we're gonna pack this on there and set it so that it doesn't crease while we do our other eye all right so that's where we're gonna stop i'm probably gonna go in and blend this more with some of the pink but we'll do that in a minute so that my battery can charge i don't want it to die okay now that we look extra crazy um, we're, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Skip from the James Charles palette and my little Luxie brush. It's the Luxie 227T. I'm going to go in with Skip. I get a little bit of that on the tip of my brush. Tap off the excess. Okay, I'm going to go in with Skip again from the James Charles palette to blend in the like darker purple with the um, light color on my crease. Okay, um, now I'm gonna go in and wipe off the bake because it's been on here entirely too long and I might have a white under eye. We'll see. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and um, blend out these creases that I have gotten from talking mm -hmm. and not setting my foundation before I did this. I don't know why I did that. Um, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. Now that we got these creases out and we got a very bright under eye and we look a little crazy, we're gonna go in with some powder and set the rest of my face and add some more color back in. We're gonna take this, it's the Laura Geller Baked Elements Foundation in Golden Medium. And we're gonna take a big fluffy brush and this is a no name, once again, a lot of my brushes are no names, it's fine. Um, we're gonna dip in and we're going to pat the powder on, don't swipe, it'll just move the foundation underneath. We're gonna pat this in and set our face. Like I said, I have very oily skin, so I have to set my face. If you don't, and you have a foundation that doesn't move a lot, you don't have to do this. You can not set your face and be fine, but if I don't, then my foundation will move everywhere because my skin gets very oily. Um, blend that down your neck. You can swipe down your neck. You're not really trying to keep coverage down there. You're just trying to add some color. Now we're gonna pat in this fake. And we're gonna swirl that around to blend it out so that it doesn't look like I have a white there. Now we're gonna go in with bronzer and I have been using the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. It says waterproof bronzing powder, but I don't know about all that. It's in 22 Sun Bronze. And I'm going in with a big fluffy brush, putting some product on there, tapping it off. And we're going to bronze our forehead, our cheeks, and our neck a little bit. I'm going to try to look in the viewfinder, but I can't see that far. We'll do eyebrows in a minute. Everything looks a little bit weird when we don't have brows on. We're good. See, this is a, a really light bronzer. It's really easy to build up. So it's kind of good for like beginners so that you don't just go straight in heavy handed and look like you've rolled in mud. And then now we're going to go on the cheekbones very lightly and blend. And I really like me some bronzer and contour. Like, you don't have to go this heavy, but I really like me some bronzer and contour. I always go really heavy with it. Also, my eyes are really dramatic, so I, I need everything else to be dramatic to match. Now we're going to blend down our neck. Make sure that we aren't two different colors. 
which happens to me a lot because I'm very bad at matching foundation. But you know, if James Charles cannot match his foundation, I cannot match my foundation. Okay, I think that's enough bronzer. I think I need to calm down um, and go in with contour. And for that, I'm gonna use my very old, very used Lorac Pro contour palette. And I go in with the medium and just a, a tiny bit of the deep. And I use this brush that also has no name. It's dual ended and he's literally like shedding, poor thing, but he's really good for contour. So we go in with him. Okay, now we're gonna go in with blush. Oh, actually, oh my God, she looks terrified. I'm gonna show you honey bun. This is my other baby. Her is an English, well, what? She's an English lop. She has very majestic ears. Look at those ears. She's a little terrified. They don't really like being held that much because they're prey animals. Um, but she's here. But she's here and she is my baby. <laughs> I'm going to go in with blush. This is MAC. Um, Gleeful. I'm really hoping that this isn't too much. But I really want to use it. So I think I'm just going to go in with a stipple brush to make it a little bit less um, bam in your face. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of it, tap off the excess, and we're going to very lightly, because this is a very pigmented blush, just swirl that on. Blush seems to be a very like um, hit or miss thing in the beauty community, but I think that blush can just change a look. I love blush, I love it. I love to put it on the tip of my nose, and I put a little bit on my chin, I like to add blush everywhere. I just feel like it adds so much color back into your face that you take out with putting on foundation and everything. But we're gonna go in and we're gonna blend that with our powder brush so it's not so harsh. Um, we're gonna do our lower lash line and for that we're just gonna take the colors that we used on the top and on, put those on the bottom. So I'm gonna go in with, if you hear me like rattling brushes, it's cause I'm going through these and these and it's hard to find things I'm gonna go in with this Lexi brush um, it's really great for keeping shadow really tight on the lash line it's the Lexi 221 T I don't know why I did that um, it's just a flat brush uh, we're gonna go in with love letter again from the modern Renaissance and we're going to build that up underneath. And we're really going to smoke out this lower lash line today. Because this is a very dramatic look. And it will look weird if it's all dramatic on top and nothing on the bottom. Getting all smoky in here. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Do the same under here. I think I need to, I was looking at my eyeshadow earlier and I think I need to bring the dark over a little bit more on this eye. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go in with um, Escape again on the same like pointy brush that I used last time. Take Escape on the same pointy brush and add a little bit more and come in a little bit farther with it on this eye. Um, just to even it out with this eye. Okay. We're gonna take that little Lexi brush that we used to blend in these colors and kind of blend right here a little bit on both sides. And we're gonna take this pointy brush with the scape and we're gonna squeeze that in our lash line down here, just on the outer part. Now that we look a little crazy, we need to blend that out. And for that, I'm going to use this brush. It's it's like the first brush that I used. Where does that go? I just set it down. Okay. It's, it's like the first brush that I used, but it's thicker. It's a little bit thicker. 
We're gonna use that with the color Skip from the James Charles palette. And we're going to really blow that lower lash line out. I really hope this isn't hard to edit. I've never edited and um, I feel like I've been all over the place and I've literally had to stop recording like three times because of my battery. Okay, I'm gonna take this Luxie brush and I'm going to blend a little bit more under here and over. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and do lashes, but I don't think I'm gonna show, I'm gonna do lashes and my brows, but I don't think I'm gonna show that on camera because it takes me so long to do both of those. Um, I can do an individual tutorial for lashes and brows. I will be back with some lashes and some brows on. knocked over every bit of my makeup. I need to zoom in more. Okay, so I went off camera and I did my lashes and my brows. I have on the Flutter Lashes in the style Lovable. Those, these are like my favorite right now. Like, Kayla got me them for Christmas and that's all I've used for my dramatic looks. And for my dramatic looks, I've really been liking them. They're just kind of like PC and just really pretty. Um, and then for my brows, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the um, color black. Right now we're gonna go in with an inner corner highlight and for that, for the inner corner, we are going in with Sister from the James Charles palette and I'm gonna take just a small, this is a, a lip brush, but I like using it for my inner corner highlight. It's an Ulta lip brush. Um, dip that in the color. And we're gonna go in and highlight. Add that little pop of shine to this very matte eye look. I really like matte. Matte skin, matte lids. So we're gonna go in with the uh, little Morphe brush that we used with um, Pinkity Drinkity and just blend that highlight out because I went a little crazy. Now we're gonna go in with face highlight and I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty. Um, this is the Kilowatt and Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Um, we're just gonna go in and hit the top of our cheekbones with this. And I just mix them both together. I don't, I used to like, individually put one on and then put the other one on the top but it doesn't really make a difference um and i also do right above my brow bone and the cheekbone and then i do my cupid's bow tip of the nose down the bridge and chin and then i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender make sure there's no creases I don't know why I'm creasing so much. I think I'm using more expressions while doing my makeup because I'm talking. Then we're gonna go in and set the face real fast. This is the Milani Make It Last. And I use, oh, I got that guy. I use an excessive amount of setting spray. But I use a lot of powder on my face to keep me matte, so I have to do something to make the powder seep in and not just lay on top of my skin. While that's still a little damp, I go back in with a little bit more highlight because um, I really like highlight. And then we go and we blend it in. And finally, I've literally been filming for hours. Um, we're going to go in with lips. And I think I'm just going to do a nude basic. Um, but I'm going to go in with MAC Spice lip liner. I overline my lips just a little bit because they're kind of uneven. So if you go a little crazy, just take your, um, this is just a small concealer brush, detail brush from um, Real Techniques. You just go in and kind of wipe it away. I feel like you 
you're gonna be able to hear the obnoxious cars that drive by here. And for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with my Dose of Colors, a mauve story. This is the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie uh, liquid lips. It's more of the um, it's more of like the moussey. It doesn't get completely dry on your lips. It's a really nice texture. Lips are my least favorite because I suck at it. What is going on? What have, what have I done? All right, and this is the completed look. That's awkward. <laughs> okay. Bye.